Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department and geographyplanet.org. This is a video tutorial that will help students learn how to geocode in a couple of different ways. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want you to do is to enter into a search window, LA County Health Department Restaurant. So those words, which should bring up a list of web pages. And the one that you're really looking for is the one that has rating on it. And, and the reason we're using this, go ahead and open it, is that it just has a, a publicly available list of addresses. And so we're going to try to narrow our search down. Let's make it just to 50. And and then uh, let's try nine one um, just the food facilities, restaurants and markets, and perhaps a further narrowing down to a zip code. And I think this is in Chatsworth. So we're we're just trying to to make a small database um, for uh, purposes of this tutorial. Here I have. Um, Looks like maybe 50 restaurants up in Chatsworth. This export button over here does not work, so I would uh, urge you not to click on it. Uh, do a scroll to the bottom of the page and position your cursor underneath the last entry in the table that you can see and just drag up until you get uh, the word facility highlighted. Then you can right click and copy that data. Next, uh, go over to your Google Drive. You may want to pause this until you have that open and then um, click New, Google Sheet, right click in cell A1 and paste special. Only thing you want are values, so you don't want all the HTML. For some odd reason, this always happens. Column headers are offset to the right by one, so Control X control V and uh, things are lined up and one of the things that I think is smart to do is rename this street rather than address to create less confusion city and then we need to add a state column because the geocoder will may not know where Chatsworth is so type in California or just CA should work copy and paste all the way down. Okay, so once you have this, you are um, almost ready to geocode in Google Sheets. You may need uh, to add the add-on that you need, so click add-on. If you already have Awesome Table included, you may not need to even watch this, but if you don't have Awesome Table, uh, click on Get Add-ons and then search for uh, something like geocode. And there are two of these geocoding options. So click on geocode by awesome table and then go ahead and install it. Once it is installed, click add ons, click geocode by awesome table, and then click start geocoding. There's a dialog window that's going to appear on the right because we have our data in three separate columns, we need to inform the geocoding service that our addresses are indeed in multiple columns. So click on that link. It opens this dialog window, and we have to tell it that our entire address is in three columns, street, city, and state. That will prompt this service to concatenate all of those three columns into a single column called full address. So click insert column and it does that for us, which is uh, quite convenient. Now we just have to click geocode and it will add a new column of latitude and one of longitude. And it's going to, as you can see, add in the latitudes and longitudes. It is using Google's API. So that means that the coordinates are in 
WGS1984 format. So I'm going to pause this while uh, these addresses are geocoding and all 50 uh, were geocoded. So here you can click on this to create a map and see what happens and it's kind of cool and you can uh, fiddle around with that. But uh, we're Jedi so we're not going to have somebody else create us a, a map like that. We're going to actually make our own so at this point, you need to uh, give this uh, spreadsheet a title, and I will call it Chatsworth Restaurants. And I'm going to suggest that you download this as an Excel file, or perhaps a CSV file. But uh, if you do Excel, and hopefully this doesn't do something weird, uh, just call it a Chatsworth restaurant and save it where you can find it. I'm putting it in the box drive uh, where you, uh, students in my class, can get to it. I'm clicking Save, and I believe I can close this file at this point. If you want to open the Chatsworth file, just take a look at it in Excel. It looks ready to go. On occasion, for some unknown reason, maybe it's when you make the, the map over in Awesome Table, it adds an extraneous row to that makes everything difficult, and then you have to come and delete it. But it didn't seem to do it this time. Now I'm going to open Arc Pro. And uh, it's just fine if you want to start out with a, a blank template, uh, a map, and you can save it wherever you want. Uh, I'm going to open um, this one called Geocoding that I already started or tried to start um, before. And this is my base map. This is probably not one that you would want to use if you're mapping California. I just uh, mapped something in Chicago, so I'm going to right click here and bring up the properties and the coordinate system that is really good for using uh, for mapping Los Angeles is it's a projected coordinate system, state plane and NAD 83 in meters and you know you can do different ones, but uh, for California um, Los Angeles, this one here, California, click OK, should make everything uh, pretty square and straight here in, uh, in Chatsworth. So I've zoomed in, and you can zoom in later if you want. Uh, State Plane uh, 4 was the one I used. Now we want to add data. So the data that we want to add, I've got to go find where I saved my data. I'll see users, Steve, box, and I put it under Graves, 340, and Geocode, and it's Chatsworth Restaurant. So I'm going to click OK, and it's going to prompt me which one do you want to map. The data is on Sheet 1, so I'm going to click on that and click OK. It will open in the table of contents momentarily, and I can right-click and open that table to see what's going on here. So the latitude and longitude columns are there. It added an object ID. And so the first way we're going to geocode this table of data is to right-click and display the XY data. So I click on that. And this uh, handy-dandy pop-up window appears, and it does such a lovely job at recognizing that my data, the X is longitude and the Y is latitude, and that's just fine. And it seems to recognize that the coordinate system that the data came in was WGS 1984, and that is a vast improvement on the previous way of doing it. Of course, you can change this if you want, but WGAS 1984, this should work just fine. It's sort of a ghost file that it creates, and then we will have to export that in order to make it a more permanent file. Let's just go ahead and click OK. Takes a moment, and there we have a lovely uh, preliminary map of points in Chatsworth. Um, Mimi's Cafe, 
popping up just like that. And in order to have this more permanent, then you have to right click on the this this file and click data and export. That's your input feature and I'm saving it to the geo database in on my uh, hard drive called geocoding and I'm going to just call this uh, Chatsworth restaurant no spaces click OK boom 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 there I have it and it appears that there's nothing new on the map that's because I've exported a, essentially a copy of this um, XY table I'm going to remove the XY table and this should be good enough. If you uh, zoom in, um, you can see the accuracy of some of these uh, placements. That Starbucks, that's called rooftop placement, as are Nick's Burgers and Bowls and whatever else is here in this little mall, a 7-Eleven. So that's really highly accurate. And if you have a small, say less than 500, geocoded addresses to deal with, I uh, strongly encourage you to use this strategy because it's clean and it's tight and it looks really good. But if you have large numbers of addresses that you need to geocode, you're going to have to try a different strategy. And what we're going to do is use the same sheet of data and we're going to pretend that the latitude and the longitude aren't already here right click on that and select from the pop-up window geocode table. It gives us a series of steps to walk through. I will walk through with you. Click start. That's the correct input table. Our data is in more than one field because it is in street, city, and state. The input locator, only one is available to me. I'm assuming the same is the case with you. ArcGIS, go, uh, the geocoding service, uh, the street is the address, city is city, state is state. We don't have zip codes or any of that other stuff, so click next. Uh, the output, where would you like to save it? We can save it here. And uh, we're going to leave on the default routing location. Click next select the United States, click Next, and here we want to select address, and we probably don't actually need all of that, just a street address, that's what we have, click Finish, and if you want to change the name of the output here, or the location, that's the, the layer that it's going to create, I'm going to click, uh, let's see if I can change it, can't even change it that way, Select here, and I'm going to call it Chats Rest 2. Click Save, and click Run. Okay, you see that it matched all 50 perfectly well. There were none that were unmatched, and that's really uh, fabulous that it worked that well. I'm going to click No to start the rematch process. Close the geocoding window here, and let's just zoom in on... Uh, the corner of DeSoto and Lassen here, and what you're going to notice is that these new layer that we have, make them a little bit easier to see, that these are not rooftop addresses like the blue markers for Donut King. This is probably right here. I'm going to find Donut King. There it is, and this is what I would call a mailbox address so it's uh, just a little it's out at the street rather than the rooftop and that's that's okay for most of the purposes i'm going to open the attribute table and as we scroll across here we'll notice that it has the a lot of extra data and how it indicates how things were geocoded but here's some interesting bits that it adds to the table. Uh, for example, the neighborhood, the city, the metro area, and it has already done some helpful joining for us and guessed at the post, postal service and even the extension. So that's really amazing stuff. So 
you get a lot of extra, but there's a sort of, you know, the, the geocoding accuracy isn't rooftop, but you get a bunch of these extra very helpful columns. So that's the end of this video. 